Hey there, game family. Welcome to Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, the spiritual successor to Final Fantasy Tactics in almost every way. If you've been with me over on Twitch for a while, you may know that I've started this game in the past, but was never able to complete it. And so we are going to start a brand new playthrough of this game just in time for it's DLC to come out later this month. So let's go ahead and get that started right here. We're gonna pick a new game. Uh, difficulty presets, I don't really think of myself as a beginner. I'm not really new to tactical RPGs. I've played quite a few in the past, so we're gonna go up to Veteran. The default setting, recommended for players with a solid amount of experience playing tactical RPGs. This mode can be fairly difficult and might not be for everyone. Well, I like it. That sounds great to me. Let's let's get started right there. Start game. In the dark days of centuries past, another worldly beast known as the Ma appeared in Diora, leaving ruin in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. It looked like they had a heart inside that thing in the middle of the room. May be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the Immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. Because they absolute authority has never gone wrong in the past, right? But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? Yep, no one saw that threat of corruption coming, did they? Like, that wasn't just obvious right from the start. Good work, Anadine. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an Arbiter. Of course, you're right, Captain. Here we go. Uh, Axiom X the Third, home of the world's worst voiceover. Are you sure Raynor knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows, but knowing Rainer, he's probably... Did you hear that? I didn't. Help! Please, anyone! It sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Arbiters to the rescue! Oh! Cold-blooded murderer! But at least he's got fashion sense. What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. Here I come from out of the shadows. Gellig. Objective, defeat Alphonse. Deployment. In this phase, you can decide which allies you want to join the battle. Awesome. So we've got our allies. We've, we can have three units in this particular battle. Uh, we can see all this help information that I don't really want. Um, so we've got two units already. Anadine, right there, and Kyrie. And now we got to choose between Virgil and Lana. Uh, Virgil is a wizard and Lana is a mender. It never hurts to have a healer in your party. 
So that's the way we're going to go. Let's get this battle underway. Proceed with these units? Absolutely. Begin. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to lay down your weapons and surrender. Now. You are an Arbiter? This is even more tiresome than I thought. Hireling, exterminate these pests for me and you will receive a tidy bonus. At once, Lord Alphonse. And Crod. Crod looks like a guy who uh, could dish out a little bit of pain. As you wish. Anadine, it looks as though you are about to face your first real battle. Why is she looking at my healer then? Yes, I see. I'm ready, Captain. I'm sure you are. But why don't we quickly review the basics just to be safe? Well, that's convenient, isn't it? In Seal Arbiter's Mark, combat is turn-based. Every unit will get an individual turn where they can move and or. Gotta love a good and or. Take an action in any order. You can see the global turn order at the top of the screen. A unit can move up to the maximum amount of tiles every turn. Uh, shown by their movement range, that's the foot icon down there at the bottom, so Kyrie is four. That movement is also restricted by terrain, and units can only reach tiles that are within their vertical movement range, showed by the jumping dude icon. Officially, uh, that is an official term for that icon, jumping dude. The height of a tile is shown in the top left corner of the screen. So our current height appears to be two. Okay, most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever played any kind of tactical RPG, most of this stuff is not new. Now then, let's deal with this scum. Okay, let's move over here. Alphonse is a level one noble. We're gonna try to flank Alphonse a bit before we whack him with this hammer. Uh, ooh, what do we got for Warcraft? Field Aid and Forceful Strike. Pushes the target away by one tile depending on the terrain. This could have interesting results. Forceful Strike that guy. Uh, do it. Pacow! Hit them both. Nice. Attacks from the side deal more damage than from the front. And attacks from the back deal even more damage. Taking advantage. Of no. This is all brand new to anybody who's played a tactical game, right? At the end of your turn, you will get to select your character's facing. Try not to show your back to your enemies, as they will also deal more damage from the sides and back, obviously. That is good to know. And our healer, who probably has not a lot to do yet. Um, I mean, I could probably go up here and smack this guy. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know. That, what do we got for Holy Magic? Health and Panacea. Panacea 2! Removes all debuffs from the target. And we can heal for what it's worth. We can item, potion, phoenix ash, rock. We can throw a rock to deal 25 damage. Or we can remedy. You know what? Uh, hold on. Let's do this. Let's redo our move. I don't know what the range on throwing a rock is. But I got a feeling that it's probably going to do just as much damage as if she walked up there and whacked him with that stick. Minus 25 hit points, 100% hit chance. Go for it. Throw a rock. Pow. All right. Anadine with her two-handed hammer. This ought to be really good. Go right on up there. Warcraft. Uh, she can also forceful strike. But because, uh, be because Crawd is not behind Alphonse, we're not going to get the... We can't push Alphonse into Crawd from this location. So... We're just going to smack him. It's going to leave him with like one hit point. Ow! Right in the teeth. I... I yield. Okay. Way to go. A wise choice, if a bit late in the coming. Victory! We didn't have to fight Crawd at all. Probably not the best way to start the game. It might not have hurt to take a couple more turns and earn some extra experience points. But there we go. Total for all participants, 132. 120 for completing the map. 
Kyrie Never Falls gives us 12 additional ability points, so that's wonderful. Vicarious Learning is 18, so all benched units earned 60 total? Ladies, there you are. What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to a party. Rainer, at last. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these thugs. No matter, this gentleman kept us company, and now we will show our gratitude by providing him with a nice, comfy cell. You cannot be serious! Do you not know who I am? I am a lord, Lord Alphonse to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate the witnesses to your foul crime, and now resisting lawful arrest? There are limits to the privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. Hmm. An arbiter and a simpleton, I see. Very well. Let us proceed with the farce if we must. Bring me to the Arbiter's Chapter House for my trial. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? The Knight's Chill does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the Chapter House, wench. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing she's, uh, she's a lawful good type of person. Rainer. I have decided to make a small detour to Illister. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main chapter house. Clever! I wonder how much sway the little lordling has in Illister. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. Now, to ensure you are comfortable for the trip. Outrageous! Simply outrageous! Simmer down, or I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers washing the gags in between prisoners, mind you. Mm. Very well! What about the other one, Captain? Just a henchman. We'll drop him off at the local chapter house. No need to cart them both all the way to Illister. Let's head for Illister now. I'm sure our imminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. Illister! And obviously, oh, the point in between. <laughs> There's an ambush waiting. The journey may be treacherous. We should stop at the local guild here in Gelig and hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. All right, let's recruit someone at the guild. Uh, what do we have? In need of new recruits. Indeed. We need to recruit someone. Uh, Sonico Star Sealer, the mercenary. You can change the visual appearance of units in this section by using the left and right arrows on any category. You can quickly change this value or select the row. Click on the row text. Uh, all right, let's do this. You can import your own portrait into the... Whoa. I didn't know you could do that. You can import your own portrait into the game. That's really cool. All right, so we're, we're wanting uh, one new person. I don't know if Sonico Star Sealer is the person that we're really wanting here. Uh, is that, do I have to have Sonico Star Sealer? Oh, I can, I can make them high level. One or two, we could go all the way to a level two. Um, what do we have? Mercenary, Scoundrel, Mender, Wizard. Let's just start as a mercenary. Uh, female is fine. I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, we got lots of different skin tones. Green! Half-orc! We got a, a half-orc and uh, 
female mercenary level two, costing us a ton. Face. I quite like her current face. Let's leave it with that eye color. Can we change the eye color? Eye color that matches that hair. That's great. Ooh, different hairstyles. Um, yeah. I quite like that. That's kind of nice. Oh, there we go. Got the got the mohawk going. I think a mercenary would keep a very simple haircut. So let's let's just go with this. Use class hat. Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, color? Oh, we can change. We can change that color. Um, I don't know. I don't know at all. How about? How about we go with? Uh, let's go. Let's go with a, a lime green. No, this green matches her coat better. Accessories. Ooh, nice. Give her an eye patch if we want. I don't. I don't think we want any accessories. Use class outfit. Actually, use class outfit sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. That way we can see all the cool outfits with the classes, how each class would look individualized. Uh, color five, I like the green color. We can change the colors if we like. Ooh, oh man, that's bright. Um, something more earthy might be good. Like, like we could go with a, here like a darker brown. If we're gonna do that, we should change the color of the hat. Kind of to match. What What's a good matching color? Here we go. There we are. A darker brown kind of earthy color. I don't like this portrait. Uh, not for our... Not for our orcish mercenary that we've got going here. What other choices do we have? Hey, we already have that person. Uh, nope. 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 Oh. Look at that. That's fun. A little steampunky going on? No, 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 no. Can, do we have any orc-like portraits here? I kind of like that for like a druid type character. Are all of the portraits human? Oh, there we go. That's us. There we go. All right. Uh, and we need a name. Sonic. You know what? No. Sonico Star Sealer. Uh, finish. Recruit this? Yes. There we go. And let's leave. We're on our way now. Uh, we're going to head to Illister. I know because I've played the beginning parts of this game before that we're going to get ambushed right here at the crossroads. So we're just going to go right there. Run through this battle real quick and see how it goes. Kyrie. Yes, I noticed. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anadine. Oh, I didn't even see the person behind the tree. Augustina. I'm so assuming that was the person behind the tree. The, the portrait and the sprite for this person down here by the dog look a little bit closer. Spotted. Ah, well. You arbiters are every bit as sharp as they say. But much friendlier. Well met, friend. <sighs> if you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, step aside. Of course. I will make it quick for you. Hand over that nobleman traipsing along at your heels, and everyone else can be on their merry way safe and sound. What a splendid idea! Quiet. Safety and soundness first, exactly my own philosophy. But first tell me, just what is it you want with our bejeweled guest? Funny you should ask. From what I've been hearing lately, I bet you Arbiters wouldn't mind a taste of this action yourselves, eh? All right, here it is. This rich fop will pay us handsomely for his freedom. Hand him over and 20% of the fee is yours to divide amongst yourselves. 
No one need ever know an Arbiter was involved in our little transaction. I get what you want. I get what I want. I get what I want. You get paid, and your reputation remains as spotless as Illustre's peaks. Win, win, win. Is there a fourth win I'm missing? Well, what do you say? Do we have a deal? I dunno. Kyrie? Only 20%? Captain? Enough. We haven't the time to exchange banter with these fools. Kyrie's having none of this joking around. As for you lot, attempted bribery, intimidation, interfering in arbiter business, serious crimes, the kind that should see every one of you de decorating the trees. Whoa, that seems like a very serious, uh, that like they were, they meant it when they said judge, jury, executioner. But get out of our way, and I'll forget I ever saw your faces. That is my final and only counteroffer. Signal that you accept before I change my mind. Well, she's all business, isn't she? Of all the doomy luck, we just had to run into the one clean arbiter within a hundred leagues. Jump lively, boys. It looks like we must earn our prize today. No survivors, no witnesses. <laughs> they really just jumped in place. All right, and then they spread out all across the battlefield, which is wonderful. Objective defeat all foes. Oh, uh, okay, so we've got we've got our people. We've got Rainer, Kyrie, and Anadine already out here. Virgil is joining us in this fight. There you go, Virgil. And our Minder, Lana, she's our healer. And Sonic Star Sealer. I don't I don't know, I just I, I think I'm going to love saying Sonico the entire game. Proceed with these units, let's do that. Rainer, what do we have for trickery? We've got dirty hit! Uh inflicting blind and steal some GP. I got a feeling we want him to go down here. Can he throw a rock that far? No, he cannot. End. Con! Anadine, why don't I give you a quick refresher on items? Items don't work as they usually do in most games, so you probably shouldn't skip this tutorial. Okay, it's nice of them to just let us know that right up front. Uh, in combat, any characters can use items simply by selecting the items command in their actions list. You will notice items have a count next to them. That count is the maximum amount that can be used in any single battle and is shared across the whole team. At the start of every battle, item counts are automatically refilled to their maximum amount for free. Brilliant! So don't hold back on using them as needed. I love it. All right, where we got people? We've got we got a, a guy with a big honking hammer up here. We've got the 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 puppers right here. Uh, Augustina with her sword right here. Another puppers and Lily Lestrange, who's a mercenary way down here. Is that it? That's all of our that's all of our foes. Well, bring ourselves right up here and. Do I have anything here? Field aid? I could use field aid for what it's worth. Not really anything. And turn and wait. Sonico! Go join Rainer right down here. We'll also intern. Uh, I'm actually going to take our healer over here with our, our non main characters, I guess. Have her hang out. Anadine, you can come up here. We'll try to we'll kind of flank these guys into the turn. Evidently, our, our wizard down there must be quite a bit slower than everyone else. He needs to gain a bit of speed. Uh, well, I was going to take him up with the others, but we may be able to reach with some, fi some magic. Uh, no, no, we cannot. 
Never mind then. You just hang there. Uh, Kyrie, mark you that sizable trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting below. There is a trap door there. Well spied. If one of us stands directly upon it, that should keep it sealed against any new enemies. Agreed. But we must move quickly if we plan to secure it. They could strike at any moment. I don't think they're going to strike at any moment. Um, I think we've got plenty of time. <laughs> I don't I don't have a good reason to think that, but I do. I think we have plenty of time. Attack this guy. Uh or this lady. I whatever. I don't I don't know what her name was. I, I can't remember the names. Too many names! Rahil! Ouch! Oh my goodness, that, that was painful. Okay, leaving my leaving my thief out there in the open was probably not bright. Nine experience points! And gained thorns, which I'm assuming deals damage back to me, if I remember properly, uh, when I deal damage to them. It deals some amount of damage back. Here we go. 18. Do I have something stronger than that? Forceful strike. Just pushes the target away. I don't think it's going to deal any additional damage, though. Nope. Let's go for just a straight up attack. They seem significantly stronger than my team. I hope I can get close enough to lay down a heal. Rainer took some serious damage. My heals are only for 30 points. Rainer could be in real trouble here. Oh, we could all be in real trouble here. Maybe, maybe I should not have separated the party. Well, at least we eliminated something and found a snake by oil, which is wonderful. Okay, she's done. She's amazing. Now, here's the question. What is his range? Let's go with fire. Ah, we can't get close enough. I really want to be able to drop this fire here in this space where it would hit both of them or here, but I cannot afford to hit Rainer with the fire. Um, so wait, I'm going to have to move. Can I take my move back? Is there a better place where I can move? I don't see a place where I can get to. Where I'm going to be able to... I'm, that's the move I need to make. If I go... Okay, right there. I should be able to hit her. It's not going to deal a lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. Ouch! Oh, don't don't go s smacking around my healer. Um, I really, really need him to stay alive. And I am really not sure that's going to happen. 19 damage. Really, that's it? That's all we can do? He's not strong. He really isn't. Let's see if we can blind her or something. Okay, uh, these two up here are doing all right. She's not in great shape, but they're significantly stronger than their opponents. Uh, here we have very little choice. I'm going to have to just go for an attack. Uh, neither one of these are injured. But we can avoid attacks from the front. Here we go. We're going to heal again. She's at 36. He is at 49. Try to get her healed up a bit. And end her turn. Oh! That forceful strike can be really useful. 
Oh, Kyrie, come on. Anadine, it's all on you. You've got to you've got to take him out. That's not quite going to do it, is it? Now, now we should be able to drop one. Yes, right here. And hit two with one spell. Spells are not incredibly powerful, but it's better than nothing. Ouch. Oh, look at her running away. I can hear voices coming from down below. We don't have much time now if we're planning to block that trap door. Ah, you can see it up there on the turn meter, how much time we have left before that trap door will open. Special events that happen during combat will display an event icon in the turn order list at the top of the screen. When the event icon comes to the front of the turn order, the event will trigger. Uh, ooh. Well, we may be in trouble. He is going to get to go again. So what I'm going to have to do, he's probably the only one who can do this. So we're going to move him up here. And potion. And he's going to have to get it to wait until the trap door opens. Or we're going to have to move him on top of the trap door so it doesn't open. Uh, let's hope that this hits. Otherwise, Kyrie is going to die this turn. Excellent. He's down. No one else will be able to get to her before she can use a potion. We're going to go ahead and have her end her turn right where she's at. You know what? Uh, I'd like to take this person out before they get a chance to heal. In a bit of trouble right now. Um, how's he doing? 39. She's at 38. Neither one of us is in great shape. I don't know if this is going to put me far enough away to avoid getting axed in the back of the head. We shall see. Ouch. Oh. That's not good. That's really, really not good. Um, oh, she could move all the way over onto it and be done. The thing is, she's a lot stronger than Rainer. I think I'm going to need her power down there. We're kind of abandoning our new person. Do they have a... Uh, let's see. Their resistance is minus 50 to water. Does that mean minus 50, it'll take 50 less damage? Or they do 50% more damage? I'm not sure. So that's going to hit him if I go there. Sorry, that's minus 50 to fire. So that's 22. It's going to hit him for 22 with water. Or with fire, we'll get 33. So let's use fire, of course. Oh, those thorns are a ranged ability. I'm going to move him right onto this door. And end the turn. And there goes our wizard. One of your allies has fallen. Fallen allies will be available again next battle, although they will have sustained an injury. An injury will drop all their stats by 10% until it wears off. It will wear off after they rest for a full battle, meaning they need to remain on the sidelines and can't participate in the battle. That's gonna be quite painful, uh, not having him. We may have to recruit someone else. Can she make it? She cannot. But can she throw a rock that will hit that thing? 25% uh, and it will hit and kill. Excellent. Thank goodness for Throne Rock and a level up. Way to go, Anadine. All right. Uh, she's got Field Aid. I'm going to go ahead and use that here. That's going to restore 18 whole hit points. So that's wonderful. 
we'll start moving closer and hopefully they won't be able to reach us yet. I'd love for her to get another heal before she does that. Um, at this point, the Sonico Star Sealer is going to die also. So I'm going to go right here and attack and at least deal some damage before she does. I don't see that there's really a choice here. We've got a we've got a little bit of a wait um, before that opens again, so we can have Rainer move now. Try to get him back into combat a bit. Uh, we're out of rocks. We do have a Phoenix Ash. We may as well go ahead and resummon our magic user. He may, I don't know if you take an extra injury, like if he'll get a second injury, if he dies again. But I'm going to go up here and try to get him some heals. And there she goes. We knew she was going down. It's unfortunate, but that is what happens. Uh, how about a potion, Virgil? And I'm not going to have him move. I'm going to have him wait right where he's at. We will move Anadine out. Kyrie, you're so hurt. Um, let's move you up on the door and have you field aid again. It's not a big heal, but it's something at least. Rainer cannot get close enough to do anything, so we're going to just move here um, and end our turn. Once again, we're, we're trying to lure her in. Holy magics, heal. Who's worse? Virgil is good. Anadine's good. Uh, Rainer is a little low. Kyrie's still quite low, though, so let's go ahead and give her a heal. I guess I could have just looked at the top of the screen to see the life. Come on up here. There we go. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now, what is her? She has no resistances. He's going to have to move forward a space. There we go. Drop some water damage on her right there. And that's it. That's the battle. Uh, we took a couple of injuries in the battle, but we gained some good experience and earned a heavy crossbow, which will be wonderful. Total for, our, for all participants, 198. Got 180 for map completion. Kyrie never fell, which again gets us an 18 point bonus. Uh, we had no benched units, really. So that total for all benched units isn't isn't really worthwhile. We uh, we did get one injury for Virgil, one injury for Sonico Star Sealer. And we're going back to the world map. Oh, we got a little cutscene first. This used to be an inn. Quite a prosperous one, if I remember right. Burned down in a marauder attack last year. And no arbiters nearby to prevent it. You allude to that scoundrel's claim about arbiters taking bribes. Nothing but a desperate attempt to talk their way out of a fight. I don't believe a word of it. And yet here we are, dragging that foppish nobleman around because we can't quite trust the local chapter house. That's a long enough break. We need to keep moving if we're to reach Illister before nightfall. I'll make sure everyone is ready. There we go. That brings us back to the map. And do you need a breather after that, Anadine? She sure does. Hmm. I guess it can't hurt if we're not in a rush. Thanks, Captain. Occasionally, a note on the world map will be marked with a symbol indicating that an optional character event is available. Select the node and choose event from the menu to view it. 
Note that some events are time sensitive and may disappear as the story progresses. All right, we'll check out that event next time for now. Let's throw down a save and I wish you all well. Until next time, stay sharp and be excellent to each other.